everybody happy thursday and welcome to the start of a new vlog today is thursday january 19th today has been a lot it's actually like almost 3 30 right now in the afternoon we've had a very busy day so clearly i can't make any plans for my weekend because they always get disrupted but that's okay so yesterday well Two months ago, as most of you probably know, we were in a car accident and we were rear-ended and basically it's been two months and yesterday they finally totaled out our car. They said they could have fixed it, but a lot of the parts are on a nationwide back order. So they just went ahead and totaled out our car finally. And so, we now have proceeded. So today we had to go down to the lot where our car was and get the license plates off of it. I took out the toll tag and just like anything else we needed in it, there was really nothing else. And then we actually got to see um, some of the damage a little bit more since like that night, you know, everything was like, it was just a lot. So it made me kind of sad. We had a Honda CRV and she was our first like SUV. And I loved her so much. She was so good to us. Um, and I was just really genuinely sad that like, I guess our time with her was over, sadly. Oh my goodness. Oh. oh God, poor baby. I'm so sad, Brian. Oh. Oh. Is there even anything in there? Don't touch anything, Regan. Look at our poor baby. But immediately after we did that, we went to Honda We and we got our new car, basically. Long story short, um, we were there for a few hours, as you usually are at car dealerships. But we ended up getting a Honda Pilot, which is a much bigger SUV. She's a big girl, and I love her. She's this, like, beautiful, I think it's called, like steel gray space gray she's like a blue gray she's so pretty like it's like literally the prettiest color and yeah so we got that car today um and i'm feeling a lot of emotions about it i don't know why i think it's because i really did love our crv but i really do like this new car it's so nice like it's like literally the biggest car we've ever owned it's a big big car with it does come a much bigger car payment so if you're in the mood for wax melts please feel free to purchase um but yeah so that's basically been our whole day it's been that and i had a lot of plans for today but they obviously went awry and that is all right so we are home now and i started making wax but i'm mostly gonna probably spend the rest of tonight making wax and i have to film a new releases video so at some point i'll have makeup on in the next like 30 minutes probably actually probably should do it right now but yes so that has been our day and i'm so technically the whole situation is not over yet we still have to turn in our rental and they technically still haven't paid us out for our total car loss but we signed all of the like documents and stuff like they'll be paying us within the next two days but yeah this whole process is basically over it took two months it was very long and very stressful we even went through a period where our entire claim got closed because like someone had accidentally did the wrong information so we had to reopen it like it was a lot it was a lot of incompetence but yes, we are finally with a new car. I feel like this saga has finally ended. And here's to hoping people in Austin, Texas learn how to drive. Because you know what? I'm getting real sick of this stuff, you know? But yeah, I figured I would update you guys. And I actually have quite a bit to do. Because like I said, I do need to get new releases video up. I have to edit the vlog from two vlogs ago. <laughs> Haven't even looked at it yet. And I have a lot I need to get done. So... I just figured I would come on here, show my face, and actually chat with you. And yeah, we're just going to go from there. But let's see where the rest of this weekend takes us. Um, nothing too crazy, but we'll see. Hello. Wow. Haven't worn makeup in like three weeks, and I feel um, different. <laughs> I haven't done this in a minute. But 
yeah just finished putting on a full face of makeup i just feel like at this point in my life when i do my makeup i just can't do anything small i have to do the full face i have to go the whole nine so there's lashes there's everything on um but yes so brian actually just went right now to go turn in our rental because he called them to be like hey when do you guys want this rental car and they were like um as soon as possible because um nationwide stopped paying on it yesterday as soon as they totaled our car out they like stopped paying the rental okay so he went to go turn that in so that way we don't inquire any more fees or inquire Anywho, so I'm going to figure out what I want to do with this hair. It's been like this since I worked out this morning, which by the way, I hit 300 rides this morning and I was so proud of myself. I did a ride that I really wanted to do, like that I've done before. It's one of my favorites. It's like the Jess King. It's one of her house, many, many house rides. It was so good. So that was my 300th ride this morning and I'm really proud of myself for it. But I need to film new releases now. So I'm going to probably take this out and I think this will probably just stay like kind of lightly curly, which would be kind of nice. And then I need to go downstairs and get the new releases. And I'm not going to film until Brian gets back. So that way the kids are like occupied with him. But yes, I finished putting on makeup and I thought I would document it because I haven't worn it in like three weeks. I'm back. I was going to tell you something because I looked back here. I moved the um, wrapping paper because it was driving me nuts. So I put it in my closet over here. This closet one day is going to need a huge deep clean. That can be a project for for later as well as my desk my desk needs to get cleaned i'm not even going to show it to you but i finished filming new releases and i just finished editing it so i'm going to upload it soon i feel like brian's about to come talk to me yes hold on <laughs> anybody else can just like sense when like their husband or like partner or somebody is coming to like talk to them because i can always like hear brian from like a mile away and i'm like he's coming to talk to me it's fine everything's fine but yeah so i'm gonna get that video up and i have wax downstairs it's cool but it needs to get popped out super cool so i will go pop that out in a minute and i'm trying to decide it's almost five o'clock i'm like do i keep going or should i like just chill for the night like that would literally make today a chill day for me maybe i'll make one more round because <laughs> i'm like i want to get these done i was like so prepared to be ahead this weekend it's all good so yeah just like feeling like stressed and tired but i'm just stressed about the car now i don't know why like i just i don't know it's like our biggest car payment yet and i'm like Phew. Phew. that's how i feel anyway inflation y'all am i right so i'm gonna get this video up and i'll probably do another round of wax and if i don't it's because we're probably gonna have dinner i have no clue what we're having for dinner tonight or tomorrow because i have my two dinners planned for what i'm cooking this week hopefully i haven't obviously i just told you guys this a little bit ago i haven't uploaded the vlog from two weeks ago even so i haven't even started uploading any cooking video like type related stuff but i've been very inspired by hannah showing her like cooking stuff in her vlogs and i'm like trying to become a good cook or at least trying to cook more that was one of my 2022 resolutions and i did it for like a minute but i like really want to actually like hold myself accountable which is why i'm telling you because if i tell you then i feel obligated to do it so i have um, two recipes that i'm going to cook this week and i'm really excited about both of those so i don't know what we're doing for dinner tonight or tomorrow so i might have to like not make wax tonight and just make a bunch tomorrow because i don't think we really have any plans right i don't think so i have releases but like that's it so that's what i'm doing this has about seven more minutes i'm gonna upload that and then head on downstairs and see what everybody else's plans for the rest of the night are say hello hi i feel like i have food on my face i probably don't maybe i do i don't know we had a really good day today and i didn't vlog much of it and i feel bad and also like i need to be a better vlogger i tried a little bit with my phone whatever so after i last checked in with you brian I was like i want to take the car to show my dad which is funny because like he will see it tonight anyway but like we wanted to surprise him so we went to the golf course that he works at showed him the car and then he was like hey let's ride around so we had two golf carts and we were driving around which was fun and then on the way home we were obviously needed to eat because none of us had dinner yet and the girls wanted chipotle so we actually ate inside it was nice you guys it's not even eight o'clock yet and all of us are like even avery was like is it bedtime because <laughs> like i'm tired they're tired i mean i need to get avery but i'm gonna go downstairs and do that in a second i just came up here to end today but 
Yeah, I'm starting my book of the month book tonight. Did I get something on the cover? Oh, I thought that I got something on the cover, but that was part of it. <laughs> um, my book of the month finally came, the replacement. Um, I got, I'll show you the pins that I got. But for January, I took the cover off, but this is the cover. I got What Lies in the Woods by Kate Alice Marshall, which is like the thriller pick of the month. It just sounded so good. I took the, um, obviously the dust jacket off. I almost just dropped it. Here's what she looks like, book of the month, January 2023. I really like that. So I'm gonna start that tonight. I think I'm trying to at least get 50 pages of that read, but I'm gonna go get the kiddos to bed and go to bed myself. Tomorrow needs to be a little bit more productive. I made one round of wax and that was it. Tomorrow I need to make a lot of wax. I gotta get the releases up and done and then I have to edit two weeks ago's vlog. I have to get the ball rolling on vlogs because the last vlog I uploaded as of right now was our Christmas one and I'm like I'm behind I need to get a little bit ahead so I'm gonna go work on getting the kids to bed taking off all this makeup I'm so tired you guys it's been a long day it's been a good day I really like our car it's very nice it feels incredibly luxurious I really enjoy it um yeah if anyone hits it I'm gonna be real angry <laughs> That's about that. So I need to go to sleep now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello everybody, happy Friday. Oh, she wants to say hi now. Hi. Sorry. We are out and about again today. I feel like I haven't been this like active out in the world in a long time, but we are at the bank. Brian is getting the cashier's check to pay Honda. We didn't pay Honda yesterday. This actually happened last time too with our car when it got totaled. We didn't get the totaled payout until later, but they still let us take the car. I think it's because obviously they have like written proof. <laughs> Trying to figure out what she was doing. So that's what we're doing today. He's gonna take that to Honda. And then I think we're gonna make a Target run. You wanna go Target? Yeah. What do you wanna get at Target? Um, toy. A toy? <gasps> we'll see, maybe if you're a good girl. Okay, I'll be a good girl. Okay, what? Oh. I, I pulled her hand. Oh, oh, you found her hand? Yeah. Okay, but yeah, that's basically the plan. And then as soon as we're done at Target, we're gonna be probably quite quick because like we only need a few things. We're not doing like a grocery shop or anything. We're just gonna get a couple of things to tide us over for the next few days. And then come home, make wax, get listings set up, and the Facebook post, I probably should turn off my alarm. I have an alarm set, and I don't want that going off like at Target. That'd be embarrassing. Um, yeah, it's kind of what today is. Today is new release day, and I, I talk to you guys a lot about this, how I get like a nervous stomach, and I typically get quite nervous around new release time, but I'm like extra nervous about today's release, and I don't know why. I just feel like... Typically with like holiday themed collections, they do do well. I just, I'm like so nervous for some reason. So we'll see how today goes. Hopefully it goes well. But that's kind of the plan for right now. And um, I don't know if I'll like vlog at Target, at least not with this camera. I might vlog with my phone because that's been kind of easier. We'll see, especially out in public. It's like not as embarrassing. So I'm sitting here with like a tripod and stuff, you know? But I love this car. Look how big it is, Ricky. You got lots of room. You're cozy? Yep. All right, we'll check in with you guys in a little. Target haul. You wanna go first? Two Aphmau toys, one for Reagan. Which one? And one for Avery. That one, okay. So one for Reagan, one for Avery. Work lunches, some devour meals. What'd you get? You got the breakfast one? Mm -hmm. And yes, the Italian got sausage, and I got the buffalo the chicken. <laughs> Starburst. Slave reds, because the red ones are the best, and they didn't have Laffy Taffy. I was craving Laffy Taffy. Reagan picked cherry cotton candy. And blue this, lipstick. And blue lipstick. Some rock stars. Two books. Stranger Things. And Golden I Book. And, and they I had the scream. new Grady Hendrix, so I grabbed ice that too. Cream. Reagan wants to show you that we got ice cream. Chicken. There's chicken in here. Or party pizzas, because they're trash, but also delicious. This one. Do you see the little hand popping up? Gum. Oh. And what's this, Reggie? Uh, turkey. Bologna. Bologna. Reagan loves bologna. She loves bologna. Hey guys, so I'm currently about to start editing the vlog from two weeks ago. I'm actually really excited. I would like to get that up tomorrow, so I need to like actually really work on it today. 
um, because this is like our first 2023 vlog technically. So I'm, I have wax right now cooling downstairs. I have about 30 minutes until it's like completely cool. So I'm gonna work on this as much as I can and then just kind of keep going back and forth because I did listings already. I did the Facebook post, the Instagram post, everything's ready to go. I just have to do the release at three, but I want to like obviously keep working on everything. I'm almost done. Um, the waffle shapes, I can only do like one picture of those at a time. So I have two more rounds of those, but it's helpful because then I have to do all the snap bars and that can be one full round of each. So I should be able to finish within the next few hours. So I'm very excited about that. So yeah, while that, um, I guess like in between the cooling periods, I'm going to try and get this vlog edited because like I said, I want it to go up tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and work on this. Um, I'll catch in, with, catch in with you. That's what I'm going to do. I'll catch up with you. I'll check in with you in a little bit. I took a break. Sorry, it's so loud in here. I took a break from editing the vlog to make some wax and then I realized, oh shoot, we have releases in 11 minutes. I'm going to be running back and forth like a chicken with my head cut off, but very excited, still very nervous for this release. Really hoping it goes well because I'm really happy with all of these Valentine's Day scents, but I'm in the middle of pouring and I'm stressed. I'm almost done with this release though, which is really exciting. After this round, I only have one more round and I'm done. So really excited, but also stressed. I'll update you guys. Um, oh my God, in 10 minutes now, I'll update you guys when it's release time. Hi everybody, okay. It's 3.55, I'm in my office and whispering because like it's kind of quiet in the house right now. A few people are napping, um, Reagan included, but it has been about an hour since our release. I actually came up here about 30 minutes ago because our release was really hectic. I didn't vlog any of that because as I was like clicking for the shop to go off vacation mode, Avery was coming in the door and talking to me. The timer was going off telling me I needed to pour. It was just a lot at one time and I was very overwhelmed. But the release is live. I'm very happy. We've already had one scent sell out, which is crazy. It was our Bell and Libby scent, which was iced almond cookies and sweet bakery dough. Chef's kiss. It was a good one. I'm actually shocked that's the one that sold out first, but it's still really good. But we've had about 30 orders in the past hour, and that's exciting. Um, I hope everybody enjoys the Valentine's Day scents. It also makes me happy that it is still been an hour, and there are still seven of the eight scents still available. So I came up here because I had an hour to kill after pouring. Well, I actually could probably go down here in a minute. So I finished editing the vlog that was after Christmas, the first 2023 vlog. So that's going to go live tomorrow. Like by the time you guys see this, it'll already be live. But I'm going to work on the thumbnail right now. It has about an hour and a half to two hours to finish exporting. So it's going to be a minute, but I'm going to work on the thumbnail and then I'm going to go downstairs and continue working on wax because I just have one more round to do. Do I do it tonight or should I save it for tomorrow? I might save it for tomorrow actually. I might end tonight and be done for the day, which would be really nice. Um, so I'll, I'll do that tomorrow and then I just have to make freebies. And then all of the Alice scents are here. They're already here because I ordered them last weekend. And I'm so, actually I think I have one more vendor, but they were supposed to be here today. Pause, let me double check on that one. But majority of the scents are here and I'm so excited. The Alice collection is going to be huge we just got where oh my god how does this happen every time i vlog jessica j crew plans just places an order every single time it's so funny every time funny 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 um oh yay so the one i was waiting on is here it just delivered 20 minutes ago so i'll go get that at the front door but all of the alice scents are here so i just need to decide on so i just got enough did i just get another order Okay, we're getting feedback. Adriana, thank you for leaving your reviews. I do appreciate them. Oh, she just reviewed Hannah's collab. This collab was amazing. Girl, that's so exciting. But anyway, all the scents are here. I need to decide on sizes. I need to show you guys the mold because I did get the flexible mold. mold, And it's like so cute, but I don't know, man. I'm gonna have to explain it when I show it to you guys. So I'm gonna have to figure out sizes and colors. But I might be able to start the Alice collection this weekend. And that would make me... So happy because getting ahead is the best and I love it so much. It makes me feel really good. I'm being quiet because like Reagan's asleep right now. My father-in-law just got home from like a super long day at work and he doesn't feel good because he was outside all day and it's cold outside. But I'm feeling good. I'm feeling positive. And I'm just so happy that the release is live. So I'm going to go ahead and work on this thumbnail and then pop all those things out of the mold and clean up my section and then just 
call it a night and maybe I'll read my book. I hope so. So I wanted to show you guys the mold really quick. The dishwasher's going and both of my kids are asleep on the couch right now. So anyway, here's the mold. So it, I got it from Flexible Molds. They have anything you can think of. Anything you can think of. Food, anything. So I'm gonna explain. First of all, it says, I think it's a small business, but like this is like an actual like chunky silicone mold. And this is for sugar cookies, four cavi, large. <sighs> They're, you see how small they are? I'm nervous. I wanna do this so badly. I just feel like it's gonna take so much time. But I did just say I wanna get ahead. So maybe I start on these soon. But anyway, these are so super, super cute. This mold was like $25 for this cavity size. It's so small, but they're just so pretty. And I like really want to make little sugar cookies so bad because I feel like not that it's like a generic mold, but I could use sugar cookies for any time of the year. I could color it different colors and it feels funny. So I think I'm going to test this out this weekend as well. So you guys will get a fun test of that. But yes, I'm gonna go pop out the molds now. I literally just picked up, it's over there, the package. All of the fragrance oils for the next release are sitting next to me. And I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm tired, but I'm feeling good. What do I wanna do? Do I wanna film? Because everybody's asleep. Maybe I'll film like a haul or something because I have a lot I could film. We'll see. I'm gonna go figure out what I wanna do. You say you don't wanna get in trouble That you don't find cause you got me I don't wanna break your little bubble But you gotta wake up to reality Good Saturday morning everybody And we are in the kitchen It is almost 10 o'clock and I should have gotten started way sooner I look like this cause I just got out of the shower So worked out this morning to shower I'm feeling clean But I also look silly and Reagan is also feeling clean as well. But we are making chicken noodle soup in the crock pot today. Mama, no, I don't need your help, please. Thank you, though. Yeah, come look. But I've only ever made chicken noodle soup in the crock pot once before, and I didn't like it, but also I feel like my tastes, like my palate has changed. I'm right here, come here. Oh, you wanna get your squishy? Um, so we're gonna try this today. This is a very strange angle. You're on top of a container and it looks a little strange. Do you wanna come say hi? Yeah. Oh, there's Reagan. Her my hair. Yep, her hair is nice and clean. Mommy's gonna cook, okay? Can you go? And it's squishy. And you got a squishy. I'm gonna cook. Can you go lay down for a little and play? Okay. I'll get you when I'm done, okay? Okay, bye, mom. Bye, babe. So we're gonna try this and I'm gonna follow all the ingredients or like the step-by-step. -step. I have my laptop over here. I'm following the delish recipe. So it says we said, says we need some boneless, skinless chicken breasts. HEB didn't have those. So I have breast tenders, which like that's fine. An onion, some celery. We needed larger carrots, but I didn't like, it only asks for two to three and I HEB sells them by like the pound, like five pounds. So I got these, which are carrot sticks, but I'm gonna cut those. We have thyme, rosemary, I have hiccups, bay leaves, bay leaf, chicken broth, and then my egg noodles, which are in the pantry, because I don't need those until later. So, let's go ahead and get started. This angle is gonna be weird, but just go with it. Start with the onion, which I'm like scared about, because I don't obviously want to cry, but you know. Well, here, let's do this. Once again, you guys, I'm not a cook, not a chef. Um, don't really know what I'm doing. I need a different knife. But you know what? We're trying and that's what counts. I don't know how to peel onions. Ugh. So it says one large onion chop, so I'm gonna do that. I don't have any bowls or anything to put these into. I have a bowl to put everything into. I feel like that will be uh, easier in the long run. Also, I don't know what knives you're supposed to use. I don't feel like this is the right one. I have a sharper one next to me, but... Oh, God, I can already feel it happening. 
Do I use this knife? Use this one. I don't know what I'm doing here, guys. All right, we'll just do what I think is right. Awful. I still feel like these are quite thick so I'm gonna be annoying and go through and cut them a little bit more I'm still crying but like I'd rather cry than like get a whole chunk of onion you know in my soup so I'm gonna try and chop these a little bit more I should get one of those like rapid chop things because I feel like that might be better than having to do that again This is working. Get this out of there. Hi, see this See this? Maybe I'm still going. I'm making onions right now. Look, my eyes are watering. I'm, I'm crying. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, watch out. I'm gonna put these in the bowl. <laughs> it's not disgusting. Yeah, there's salad. No, this is onion. Right, then it says three carrots, which obviously I have a bag of them, so I'm gonna just two pockets. figure this one out, I guess. This knife doesn't really work. Or this knife, this scissors. Alright. Yeah, but no, these are for us today. So let's do, I don't know actually, these are already peeled, which is nice. So I'm just gonna kind of cut to my like heart's desire, <laughs> you know? You got cut them all? Yeah, I'm putting carrots in. You gotta chase it, gotta believe it. You gotta go get it for yourself. Cause I can see. And then it says three stalks of celery. Celery! So let's pull this bad guy out. Yeah, it's so cool. I have to wash these. Let's do these three, I guess. Let's do these three. They're disgusting. And Reagan, stop. Yeah. And I gotta wash these. You gotta wash these? They're wet. Yeah, I need to watch out. You love celeries? Yeah. I don't think you've mean, ever had celery. Yeah, they're always eating me happy. So be happy. You can do whatever you like. You don't have to be ready. You just gotta trust the right. You don't have to be scary. You just gotta follow the light. You're able to be happy. You can do whatever you like. Then three cloves of garlic, which... I'm kind of garlic. a big fan of garlic in this house, so I might do. Garlic? Um, oh, Reagan. I might do um, like four because I just really do love garlic. Sorry if the angle has changed. I just put the chicken uh, into the crock pot. I didn't do a liner. I didn't think I needed one. Um, so it's chicken, hey, onion, carrot, celery, thyme, rosemary, garlic. So I'm going to put this whole combination in. Just do that, I guess that works. And then, what does it say? And then you put in 
the rosemary and the thyme. I think the thyme is how many sprigs? Four tables, four tablespoons, but I'm just gonna put in like all of it. Actually, should I put the, hold on, pause. Okay, no, put this in. And then, so that's all of that. This is trash, great. How much of the rosemary? Four, oh, teaspoons, teaspoons, not tablespoons. Oh my God, could you imagine? And so four teaspoons of the rosemary. So I think I'm gonna do like two sprigs of, or just a sprig of rosemary. I'm not like the biggest fan of rosemary. I actually prefer thyme. Okay, and then one bay leaf, I think. Yes. One, I'll do that in a second. One bay leaf, which I have these. Just got them, so. Here, do that. Grab a bay leaf, toss that in. And then how much broth? Um, season generously with salt and pepper. I haven't poured this into a thing yet, but your girl really loves salt, so we are gonna season generously. Okay, and then we have some pepper. Okay, and then how much broth? Low sodium chicken broth, 10 cups. This is one cup, so we need 10. So that's one, hold on, how much is in this? Ounces, how many cups? Two pounds, how many cups? About six servings per container, so there's six cups in here? Let me do that math. Okay, Google, how many cups is 32 ounces. 32 fluid ounces is equal to four cups. Four cups. And we need 10. It says there's six, but whatever. I'm gonna do, thank you. I'm gonna do this, and I have another one in there as well. So just pour in that chicken broth. Six cups in there, and then I have another one here. So I'll do four of these then, I guess. Maybe I should have counted it out. Six, seven. One more. And 10. Okay, put that in the fridge. Is that everything? Cover and cook low six to eight hours. Remove chicken from slow cooker and shred with two forks. Return to the egg noodles. So yeah, we have to cook this for about six to eight hours. I'm gonna do seven to start. Okay, Google, set soup timer for seven hours. All right, a seven hour timer called soup, and we're starting now. I think we're good. like it looks like I have a bag like this. The fan coming out of the top of my head. I'm up here because we were folding laundry. I got quite a bit done in the past couple of um, hours, but I didn't vlog any of it because the girls were watching Sing 2 and I didn't want to get like copyrighted for that, you know? But oh, I'm out of breath. I um, finished all of 
the Valentine's Day scents. I only had one round to do, so it was very simple. And then I just, like two seconds ago, poured the freebies. Oh, uh, was my phone ringing? No. Poured the freebies for this release. We're doing strawberry raspberry guava, which is like so good. Oh, my camera's dying. I'll have to go get a new battery. But it's so good and like I'm blending it with something for the Alice collection. And I think it's going to be, I mean, I know it's going to be bomb. I, I know it. And then I made maple walnut fudge, which is like so good. And that's the one that I tested in the new cookie mold. Yeah, you guys, like, I don't know if this cookie mold is going to work out. It might have to be, like, an option where I do a drop-down menu for it because, like, with another item. Because I swear I could probably, unless I bought, like, 10 of those, 30 of those, which is just financially not <laughs> responsible. Um, it, it takes, like, no wax at all. Like, it, I think all four of those cookies together combined are going to weigh maybe an ounce maybe an ounce we'll see though but you know i'll probably toss one of each of those cookies like one cookie is a freebie because like might as well so yeah now i'm folding laundry obviously you need to go get a new camera battery but girls aren't really playing much together today which has kind of been difficult for me because reagan has really been like on top of me so i'm trying my hardest to like get things done but right now she's in avery's room so hopefully avery's like wanting to play we shall see because I do have a lot I would like to get done, but we, again, we'll see. The soup smells really good, so I'm really hoping that it is good because if it's not, I'm going to be really sad, but that's kind of my update as of currently. Um, yeah, just trying to get laundry done. I think, honestly, I have some restocks I do need to do. It looks like I need to restock four cents. Um, sticky bun, peppermint, pineapple, and pistachio. All the peas except for sticky bun. Peppermint, pineapple, pistachio, and sticky bun all need to be restocked. So, trying to decide if I want to do that today or tomorrow. Because I would also like to get started on the Alice scents. Except for the fact that I don't even know what shapes I'm doing for those yet. So, I'll probably decide that today. So, we shall see. But, I'm just going to go ahead here and continue folding laundry. And then I'll change the battery for this. And I'll catch up with you guys in a little. So I'm back down here at my battle station, essentially. And I'm trying to come up with the shapes that I want to do for the Wonderland collection. Um, I need to make a comprehensive list. Oh, I didn't get my battery. I should go do that. I need to make a comprehensive list of every shape we do that's, like, normal for us. That's, like, good for us. Because I'm sitting here and I'm like, what shapes do I want to do? So I think I've already made the two freebies for this like release but I think I'm gonna make one more because I want to test one mold that I have had for a very long time but I want to test it so I might have to make one more freebie actually mm, you know what hold on hold that thought I'm gonna change the battery and I'll come back to you okay you've got a fresh battery and I went ahead and grabbed the mold I've had this mold for a very long time and I just haven't used it yet because I've had ideas for it but I'm like whatever and it's this like cake slice pie slice mold it is larger and there is one two three four five six seven eight cavities and they're quite thick so i feel like this would have to be something i do one of but we have a mary on birthday scent and it's like a cake scent yellow cake mallow fluff sugar cookies if this is all like sneak peeks you're welcome but like i think it'd be cute to do it as a cake so i'm gonna go test that now what scent do I want to do? Because I have to cut those up then and make those into freebies. And that's going to be kind of annoying. But it's okay. So I think I'm going to do that. Let me test that mold. And then I'll come back to that scent. But yes. Basically sitting here trying to come up with shapes. I'm like blanking so hard. And I know not a lot of people really enjoy the shot cups. So I'm like okay with not doing those for anything other than core. I guess for now, from now on. But I do still prefer. I love the snap bars. I love the ease of snap bars. I know everyone likes the mini chunk bags. Um, clams. People have been saying they don't like clams anymore. So that's fine. I have a bunch of souffle tins. So I could do souffles. I still want to use. I should use that Disney mold for something. Because this is like a Disney collection. What else do I have? I was going through my own Instagram. Because I was trying to figure that out. 
Um, I like, I personally love the XL snap bars, so maybe I'll do one of those. I was actually trying to decide between, oh no, I did decide. I decided to do the XL snap bar for the Cheshire Cat because they sell at Disney World a Cheshire Cat tail. And I thought it'd be cute to do like a, a drizzle and kind of like almost make it look like the Cheshire Cat tail. Almost, not exact, you know? But I'll definitely do the Disney shape. The mini chunk bags for sure. Probably a souffle. Um, I'm gonna probably do a heart for the Queen of Hearts. I'll probably throw some snap bars in there. I have the wave bars, I have donuts that I could be doing, and I have waffles now too. Hmm, there's lots of options here. So, oh, there's so many good options. So I think I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna test this mold and think about it for a little bit longer. I have to figure out what scent I'm gonna do. Do I wanna do one of the scents that I have here? Should I do, should I do caramel macchiato? I think that's what I'm gonna do because I love caramel macchiato. Okay, I'm gonna go do that and I don't know what color I'll do that in. Maybe just, maybe I'll do it in like a fun color. Okay, I gotta go test this mold. So I have the wax uh, going right now, but I, I think I did the shapes. I, I'm the type of person that I'm gonna sit here for the next like 10 minutes 20 minutes and just stare at these And then I'll walk away from it and come back and be like are these exactly the shapes I want to do because I'm like I never know like I just want to make sure that these are like the shapes that are good We did do a poll forever ago by forever I probably mean like a month ago on our Facebook page and I asked like what size shapes everyone likes so I like referenced back to that to see like What shapes to do but I don't know man. I'm trying I'm gonna try and figure this one out but you know what, I have till next week, so it's fine. But I just, I like to get it done now. But once I'm done pouring this, I'm gonna once again, like, look over this a couple more times. And then I do wanna do a, a video tier ranking all of the books I read in 2022. So I think I'm gonna have to go onto Goodreads and just screenshot every single picture and like crop it and put it in a folder. So that way I can like load that onto the tier ranking site and potentially film that tomorrow because I would like to actually put makeup on for that because I want it to be a face-to-face -face video. So probably gonna do that while those cool the soup I'll show you in a minute smells so freaking good if it's not good I'm gonna be so sad but I want to show you what it looks like I have about okay Google show timer there's two hours 24 minutes and nine seconds to go until I can shred the chicken take out the rosemary thyme and the basil leaf basil leaf bay leaf and then put in the noodles for 30 minutes so Brian's gonna be home in probably like an hour and a half, so it'll be done after he gets home. And worst case, it's not good. I already don't expect my kids to eat this. Um, we'll just make the party pizzas for all of us because we got party pizzas at Target yesterday. So I'm gonna go pour this. I'm gonna show you the soup though. Okay, so let's see. Hopefully it doesn't fog up. Oh, mmm. I mean, it smells incredible, but we will see okay, so i think i found the problem with the cake slices it's not a problem it's just like it would be a problem for you guys so when i poured them with the normal amount that i pour in a pitcher i was only able to pour four slices so that means they weigh a lot but with the amount of oil because i buy the same amount of oil for every cent regardless of size i feel like i would only be able to make if i can do four four times five twenty if that maybe 19 that's how many i'd be able to list so I'm really gonna have to sit here and ponder that one because the scent is so good. I might do it, guys. You guys will know by the time this video goes up. Probably by the time this video goes up, the collection will be live. So we'll see. Actually, I don't know. Let me tell you. I have a plan for my life. We'll see. Um, this vlog will be live the day after. So you'll know by now but i'm stressed about that actually but we'll see it might be a good problem to have so i'm gonna go ahead and goodreads now and just kind of screenshot all those uh books and i'll be back in a little
Okay guys, so the cookies and the snap bars of my freebies are cooled. The cakes are not gonna be cooled probably for another hour. I'm so sad about these cookies because I poured all four and was still able to pour one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight snap bars. Normally I can pour 10 at a time. So like, <laughs> these make me sad because I so badly want to list these but I just know they are going to go so quick. So I'm thinking about listing these with the waffles maybe. So at least it's two food items. Or the donuts. I don't know, but here we go. We're gonna unmold them together. I can't wait, I did them in a color that I, I knew would look like a cookie. Oh my God, I can tell they're gonna be so freaking cute. These molds are very thick. Oh, damn it, they're so cute. It looks like a cookie. Obviously the back is like wax. Look at that here, let me try and block some light. Me. Yo, they literally look like a sugar cookie. These are so cute. I'm gonna have to weigh these and see how much they weigh. I would probably have to sell them in a pack of two or four because well, two would be better because then I could do at least two. These are so fucking cute. I'm sorry for cursing so much, but like they're so cute. They literally look like sugar cookies and I'm just like sad now. Like if I wanted to start making these, I have the sense I should start like now and just start making batches because it would take me quite a long time. But also like they're just so dang cute. All right, so here's all four. I'm gonna go weigh them. I'll let you guys know. Let's see. Oh, they're sitting cute. Oh God, no. Ah! Two cookies. Weighs the same as a shot cup. Ugh. I could do them in packs of two. I really could. But I would have to do so many rounds. Do I do packs of two and then also do two pack of donuts with this listing? <sighs> Freaking decisions, decisions, decisions. These are so cute though. I don't know. I really don't know you guys. <sighs> They're so damn cute. Okay. I'll think about it. I'll think about it, I'll think about it, I'll think about it, but yes. So, four people, at least, in this past release, this Valentine's release, will get a cookie as a freebie, probably. If they fit in the freebie bags. If they don't, I'll cut them in half, but... I'm mad. Hello, everybody. Happy Sunday. I am genuinely sorry that last night just sort of ended abruptly and I didn't like go over the food or anything like that. Um, we had like a miniature family emergency and it stressed me out. So I was like, I'm going to show the food and then I'm done vlogging for the night. But everybody is fine. Everything's fine. Um, we're good. So the chicken noodle soup, I put too many noodles in for sure. And I knew as soon as I poured the noodles in, she's coming to say hi. Okay, spit it out. I knew as soon as I poured the noodles in, it was way too much. So it really soaked up a lot of the broth. I felt like the broth was pretty good. It just, um, the noodles just really like took away from it. Um, I probably will make that in the future again, just not anytime soon, honestly. So yeah, so um, update two on the cookies. There's, I just really thought about it and I really debated it. They're so cute. I don't know what I'm going to use that mold for, but it would be just such, for me, like it would just take so much time and it just, it doesn't even, they don't even weigh enough. And yeah, so I think I'm gonna cut the cookies and I need to rearrange my sizes then for the Alice collection because I sort of had a size going, but I think I'm just gonna rearrange some of the sizes now, which is totally fine. I'm just sad, but it's all good. And then I do have the cake slices here. I bagged them because I didn't cut them yet. They're pretty large. I need to weigh them and then like see what bag size actually fits for them. But I feel like these are quite large. They smell so good, they're in caramel macchiato. And I think these would be good 
for the Marianne birthday scent. So I just need to weigh these and see what bag size fits best for these before I cut those up. I do have a lot on the agenda today. I really didn't get much done last night. Um, I have to do two rounds of restocks. I could start Alice scents. I need to label all of the um, freebies as well as label all of the Valentine's Day scents. I have seven orders that were open before the release that I could do. And I decided I'm not going to do the tier ranking video today. I'm just going to do it Thursday after I get back from like my work week. Um, because I'm not putting makeup on today. There's no way. And I need to finish my plan with me. So I think my upload schedule is going to be a little wonky this week. But like it's fine. I'll still have three videos up. Because I'm also still going to try and get the last vlog up Saturday as well. So yeah. Just kind of a busier day today. But... I have to order groceries at some point. Oh, and I just completely forgot. In like 20 minutes, uh, we're the Bundesliga is back. So I have so a soccer game to finally watch. So Dortmund plays in 20 minutes, and I'm really excited. I'll probably sit and watch that and um, maybe work on my grocery list while I'm watching that. So that's today. I'm already, I'm just, I'm still slightly stressed and anxious, but you know what? I still have a lot I need to get done, and it's going to get done. So that's the plan for today. Sorry about last night again, but things happen. So I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Sunday rut again where I just don't feel sorry my hair is just like it's doing its own thing today I just don't feel like vlogging and I'm sorry I, I feel bad I actually just offloaded all of the footage um from the past few days and Saturday had like so many clips and I was like yeah I, maybe Saturdays are just my days to vlog but in the time since you've last seen me, I have restocked all four scents that needed to be restocked and I just finished filming the day by day of my plan with me, which I'm now currently about to edit and get rendered so I can export it. When I go downstairs, because as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to go downstairs, I'm going to probably start labeling everything. I also think I changed my mind again. I think I am going to do the cookies because I think I can do those with every single, like literally every time I do a round of wax, I'm just going to do a little bit of the cookies and hopefully that just like builds up enough over time. And also the cake slices weigh a ton. So like they're super cute though. So that's what I've done since you last seen me. When I go downstairs, I probably will label everything. Like I just said, I think it's repeated myself losing my mind. And I still have those orders to do, but I will probably do those after I make dinner because I am going to make those like KFC famous bowls. I saw a TikTok about it and I realized when I was going through the recipes that Hannah had sent me that she also sent me a recipe for it, which is like kind of the same recipe. So I'm like actually excited because like it make, means a lot of people like it. So I'm going to make that and it seems relatively easy. Everything is basically pre-made. I just have to heat up the chicken, heat up the mashed potatoes, heat up the corn and pop it all together and put it in the oven for a little bit so like that seems super easy and if everyone likes it like you don't understand how nice that would be i also ordered groceries i think i talked about that i ordered groceries i planned out the two meals that i plan on making next week which i'm gonna make chicken fajitas which i've made chicken fajitas before they're very easy and i actually really quite like them and i've been craving them but i got chicken thighs because chicken thighs are so um, so that's what I'm going to be making and I'm also going to make a new to me recipe, another one that I saw on TikTok. I don't know what it's called. The person didn't even put any sort of information. I'm just going to kind of wing it. But it's some sort of like broccoli sausage Alfredo pasta. It looks very, and bacon and it looks really good. So I'm going to give that a try as well. Um, other than that, we're probably just having like, I actually kind of want Brian to make our steak fried rice for the, like the weekend because I want you guys to see it. He made it last weekend or last week, this current week, and it was bomb. And I like want you guys to see it because it's so damn good. So I'm just gonna finish editing this video. It'll take me two minutes or two seconds, but get this ready to go. I'm still very thankful that I've been doing laundry on Saturdays. I don't know what it is, but doing it a day earlier has really just helped me so much. But we have a lot to do tonight now that I just realized it because once Brian gets home, I'll probably try and do those orders. We are going to watch The Last of Us tonight, second episode. 
Brian said it might be the scariest one. I'm like really excited for that. And then I need to shower Avery and probably Reagan too and get her prep for school tomorrow. So it will be kind of a more busier day. But you know what? We got this guy. Okay, so I just had a little light snack. I've been like, it's weird too. I've been like really craving Laffy Taffy and I know that's weird, but like when I have like a sweet craving, it's always for something specific. And I went and I couldn't find any at Target and I did find one bag at HEB, but like my kids also have been really enjoying it. So we've been kind of flying through it. So I had like two pieces of Laffy Taffy and now I'm gonna be like fine until dinner in like two hours, so that's fine. But I figured I would do the seven orders first because, Oh, actually, I could probably do this one. Wait, when was our release? What? Wait, when was our release? I don't remember. Oh, there's more than seven. Hold on, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's 12 orders before our release? I thought there was only seven. Okay, well, anywho, I will do these then before I put labels on anything. Granted, if any of these need any of the restocks, I'll just quickly go put a label on those and grab those, but I don't think they will. But we have 12 then, I guess, orders to do um, because these are a little bit more pertinent in my opinion. And then the new release orders I will do next week um, with Brian because he's it's so much easier and faster. So we have Caitlin, Brandon, Leslie... Lauren, Shelly, Brooke, Risa, or Risa, I think, um, Carly, Emily, Laura, Dinah, and Emma. I'm going to do all of these orders then first. So I need to make my pull list, print the shipping labels, print the invoices, and I'll package all of these up. So I'll take you guys along with me um, to show you how I do that if I haven't shown you already, which I think I have, but regardless. like 30 minutes trying to figure out why i couldn't print invoices um i tried we have an hp desk jet that i always print them on and that didn't work so then i took it over to where i print the labels like our um labels that we put on the actual product which is a canon pro 100 and that wasn't working so i was like okay maybe it's printers let me test so i printed it on our uh like label like invoice no shipping labels and like it works but like i hate it i'm not putting this in there um, so I'm gonna wait for Brian to come home to help me with invoices, or maybe they just won't have invoices for this release, actually. Yeah, maybe they just won't have invoices, but now I want them to. So then I can't even do orders, really. <sighs> We're gonna pause on the order front. I'll do them after Brian gets home. I'm so angry. Why are my, why is my printer's not working? Like, I don't, I don't understand, so... We're pausing on the order front and I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting labels on things because I'm annoyed now. You hear that sound? That's the sound of my IT husband being a genius. Avery, I'm not talking to you. She's like, who? Who's your husband? Avery, who's my husband? Yeah, daddy. I can get these done. As soon as these orders are done, I'm gonna make dinner. Actually, no, I'm not. Cause it's gonna be way too soon, but I'm excited. Thank you, Brian for existing, honestly. <laughs> i 
are done and the kids are watching sing too so if you hear background noise that's what that is i'm gonna start by making this kfc famous bowl casserole situation so basically everything's like pre-cooked and then you just like combine it which is really helpful so i'm gonna start with the chicken breast i just have these heb fully cooked chicken breast chunks fritters um i figured this would be helpful because i don't have to cut them up so i have the oven preheating right now and i'm gonna start by cooking these and then i'll like kind of guesstimate but then i'm also going to make i have this massive bob Evans mashed potatoes this is like the family size and then i'm gonna put that in the microwave and heat up the corn on the stove and that's gonna kind of be it and then i'll show you guys when i combine them all together okay mashed potatoes these are cooked this is the family size so it should be good god i love bob evans mashed potatoes have y'all ever been to a bob evans so i lived i was born and lived in ohio for the first 11 years of my life and there was bob evans everywhere they're so freaking good mm, i love mashed potatoes i don't know if this is enough maybe i used too small of a pan i hope not no i think it's good let me just really maneuver these around okay god these smell so good Make sure everything's good here. Okay, so I have mashed potatoes. And then the corn, or the chicken, oh, I just got my finger wet. Chicken just came out, but I'm just gonna layer it in here. There's actually quite a lot of pieces of chicken, so we might have some left over. Which I'm like okay with, honestly. Because if anybody wants to add any extra, by all means. Oh shit, my bad. I've never tried this chicken before, but it smells amazing. Mm. Mm. Maybe? And I'll just save those extra pieces? Sure. Okay, and then let's do the corn. Love corn. Oops. Lots of corn. I just threw that one at myself. Okay, just kind of separate that a little bit more. Okay, and then it said some gravy. We'll save this gravy too. And cheese. This actually looks so good, you guys. I have the oven preheated right now to 350. And I'm gonna put this in for about 10 minutes to start. And we'll see. Oh, this actually seems like the easiest meal ever. So if this is good. No. Am I using a whole bag? Looks like I am. Okay. Let me put this in the thing. Okay, Google. Set casserole timer for 10 minutes. All right. A 10 minute right. timer called casserole. I'll keep this Starting out. Now. Okay. I mean, it looks like just a pound of cheese right here, but... I'm gonna serve it up and I'll show you guys what it looks like served up. Okay, so I'm here basically to end the vlog because in about 20 minutes I'm gonna get Avery into bed and ready for bed, probably Reagan too. And then after that we're gonna watch The Last of Us, which I'm really excited about. I feel like that was a really good dinner. I feel like if not just like an easy quick weeknight meal, it's actually a pretty good like comfort food in my opinion. And it was also just super easy to make and I really liked it a lot. So Plus one, at least one for the weekend, right? I'm proud of myself on that. What did I make last weekend? Did I just make that one meal and that was it? I don't remember. But anyway, one out of two, happy about that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. I didn't get everything done that I wanted to today. I think the only thing I didn't get done was I needed to label everything, but you know what? That'll be a task for next weekend. But I gotta work tomorrow morning, I'm tired and I'm already showered and kind of blow dried a little bit, not too much, but a little bit. But yeah, so that's about it. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend with me and I will see y'all on Thursday. Ray says goodbye. Goodbye.